Hi everyone, this is Rossi Todorova with a lesson in beginning drawing. Uh, today I'm going to cover thumbnails. So I'm going to be drawing this pair on 18 by 24 paper. And before I get started on the bigger paper, I want to make some um, thumbnails uh, thinking about the layout, how I'm going to actually lay out the uh, drawing itself. So what I want to do is I want to start with little rectangles that are close to the same ratio of the paper that I'll be working on. So in this case, I'm going to start with three vertical and three horizontal thumbnails that I can think about are about the same size of a zoomed out version of an 18 by 24. What I don't want to do is work on something like a square because the paper is not that ratio at all of the, um, the drawing paper I'll be working on. You wanna make sure that the ratio of the width and height of your paper is gonna be the same uh, whether you're working on a portrait, vertical, or uh, landscape horizontal. So now that I have these little rectangular um, boxes on my um, piece of paper, I'm going to start looking at the subject itself, which again is a pair, and uh, start drawing it uh, very gesturally. So a thumbnail should really be like a gesture. A gesture is something that's a um, quick drawing, usually takes about 10 to 30 seconds. Um, you know, like these should not take more than a minute. Uh, and they should start to think about the form of the object in front of me and all of its encompass encompassing parts. So in this first one, I think you guys can see, we'll work from the side here. For this first one, I'm gonna think about the bulbous part of the pear, how it has uh, a part that's wider and then kind of a neck where the stem would be and then how that paper towel that it's sitting on would fit in the composition. Then I want to change my comp my uh, pair, kind of just choosing a slightly different view, seeing if there's something more interesting or different. So for this one, uh, I'm going to go a little bit further to the right, you know, thinking about the shape of that pair, where the stem is, how that paper towel is going to interact with the with the um, composition, and then let's try one where, oh, maybe it's almost facing me where that stem is kind of uh, sticking like straight up, but I'm gonna put it a little bit further left in my picture plane. The nice thing about thumbnails is that they're so adjustable. Um, so instead of going right to the paper without a plan, uh, you can really think about, well, how do I want this thumbnail to look if you want it to be a little bit taller, you can always just change that form, really making it, again, the same ratio, 18 by 24, you zoom down to, uh, you know, very small little rectangle, but you can make changes. So for these landscape ones, I'm gonna reinforce them with a darker pencil just so you guys can see them. And now I'm gonna play with the pair again and think, okay, what is it gonna look like if it lays on its side? And when it lays on its side like that, my view is just a little bit different than what the camera uh, view is. So I can see the back of that pair, kind of its butt, its stem, that area, and again, that napkin. What happens if I go in the other direction or have it on its side, uh, facing the other direction? And then let's try one more, maybe one where it's kind of right in front of me. So now that I've made um, a couple of thumbnails, I'm going to choose my best one and maybe think about which one I want to work on and want to do. <sighs> it's so hard. Sometimes it's really hard to choose which one. I actually really like this one. So when um, I go to the next video, I'm going to be translating uh, that thumbnail. I'm going to try to bring it closer to the camera. This one, uh, the one where it's, the stem is pointing to the left, onto a larger sheet of paper. See you in a sec.